Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, we will be discussing the mapping annotations in Spring Boot. So these annotations include get mapping, post mapping, put mapping, and patch and delete mapping. So this is the ninth video that is going on for our Spring Boot interview series. So if you are a beginner in Spring Boot or you are preparing for the interviews for Spring Boot profile, then this playlist will be very much beneficial for you. So make sure that if you are new to this channel and you are watching our videos for the first time, make sure to go towards that playlist and see that what all annotations that we have covered. They will be really helpful for you if you are a beginner or you are giving the interviews. So make sure to subscribe the channel as well because daily we are uploading videos regarding Spring Boot and many more videos will be uploaded in future. So make sure that you are present on our channel and do support us by hitting the like button only because it gives us lot of motivation for making such videos when we get so much like and love from you. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, as I told you, please hit that like button. Okay, so guys, the mapping annotations. So we all know that there are various HTTP methods that we use for connecting to the server. So some, uh, some of them are get, post, put, delete, patch. Okay, so till now in the video series, we have seen that whenever we have to hit the get request to the API or the post request to the API, API or any other request, what we were doing, we were using request mapping annotation and inside that request mapping annotation, we were giving the endpoint, okay, that which fun, uh, when this function should be fired at what endpoint. And then another thing that we were giving was the method type, whether it is a get request, post request, or put request. So let's first of all understand all these HTTP methods, okay, just the theory part. So first is get. So what is get? So get is, we use HTTP method get when we want to fetch any data from the server. I am again repeating. We use get HTTP method when we want to fetch anything, any data from the server. So this is the simple use of get method. Next is the post method. So post method is used when we want to save any data to the server. So when we hit the request from our uh, postman, we send some data to the server. If we want our that data to be saved in the server, we used post mapping. Okay, post method we use simple. Third one is the put mapping. That is, we already have any data stored in the server. We want to update that particular data in the server. Then we are using this put method. Fourth one is the delete method. Delete method is not, nothing. But if we have some data stored in the server, we want to delete that data. Then we use delete HTTP method. Next one is patch mapping. Now, patch mapping is very much patch method is very much similar to the put method. Okay. So put method, what was it? When we want to update the data that is already present in the server, then we use the put method. But in patch method, let's just see the difference. It is similar to the put only, but let's just see the difference between put and patch. I hope get, post and delete are clear to you. Let's just now see the difference between put and patch. Okay. So put mapping, when you want to update or create a resource with the complete representation. Next is patch mapping when you want to apply partial modification to a resource updating only the fields provided in the request payload. So let's just simply see an example. See. Okay, let's just simply see an example. So here we have our student class. Okay, so when once we have saved a particular data about the student, it will have its ID and it will have its name. Okay, let's just suppose it has a what it has a father name also. Okay, father name also it has. Okay, so these three fields are there. Now I want to update name and father name. Okay, if I want to update all the name as well as, as the father name, what I will do, I will be using the put mapping. Put mapping is when that when we want to update the entire when we want to update the entire uh, resource in the server. So if we want to like um, update all the fields, then we will be using put mapping. But now let's suppose I only want to update our father name. Okay, earlier it was A. Now I want that my father name should be B. But the name of the student and the ID of the student will remain same. So in this case, when I want to update partial resource, partial data, if I want to update on the server, then we will be using the patch mapping. I hope the difference between put and patch mapping is clear to you. If I want to update all the fields of that resource, then I will be using put mapping, put method, or whenever if I want to just update the partial fields, then I will be using patch. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear to you. Now coming to the point that what are these? Uh, what are these? Put mapping, patch mapping, get mapping. What are these mappings? So as I told you earlier, we were using request mapping. We were specifying the endpoint and we were uh, typing explicitly that the method should be get. 
or post or anything now what we can do just a second now what we can do is <clears throat> now we can we do not have to specify what type of method we are calling we can simply use instead of request mapping we can simply use get mapping post mapping these annotations we can use it will be like easier for us to understand okay let's just see with an example so public string <clears throat> let's just uh, give it a uh, get only method name as get now on this what will but earlier we were doing we were giving the request mapping annotation and we were get, get, uh, telling that this method is get so this so this was a get method on this endpoint. Now instead of giving method explicitly, what I will be using, I will be simply using get mapping annotation, and only the endpoint I will be specifying that that if slash get is fired, then I will be hitting this get method. Okay, so I am in get method. Okay, so now our work has become easier instead of writing this full line request mapping then method then value we are just using get mapping it is simply the addition of request mapping plus the method and we will be only passing the value that is the endpoint we want to map to this particular method and we will simply get i am in get method similarly is the case with the post method also so let's just say public string and let's just give the name post only okay and inside i have told you that when we use post mapping when we want to save any data to the server so let's just first define the endpoint post mapping annotation we will be using because we are using post method let's just fire slash post and since through body of postman we will be sending some data that we want our server to save so in this case we will be using request body annotation also as i have told you in previous video that what request body annotation gives okay student and student okay so this one will be yes import class okay and let's just simply just simply return what we will return we will return i am in post method so now in java we will have this student uh, student object we can do anything with the student object now we can save it to the database also we can do some processing also that i will not go in detail just i am showing you the use of this get mapping post mapping and then let's just say put mapping also but i told you put uh, string uh, put and inside also inside this also we will be we want to update our existing student object to the uh, student object that has been received by the request so again also we will be using request body only the similar thing we will be using in put mapping also because now we have got a new student object and we want to update the existing student object okay and inside this above we will be giving the put mapping and again let's just give any url slash put only okay but i will be returning again returns nothing but i am in put method okay similarly we will be doing with the delete mapping so public but in delete mapping some things will change let's just see what it will be public string and delete okay now when we are calling the delete method uh, delete method now how we will tell that which student because there can be multiple student objects so how we will tell that which student object should be deleted from the database the, that is using the student id okay that is using this id field that is because id of all the students will be a primary key it will all be unique so we will be sending the id in the delete mapping so that we can get to know that which student uh, student has student object has to be deleted so at the delete mapping we will be using we will specifying the path slash delete but in this path we will also be sending the id that needs to be deleted okay and this id how will we catch it we will catch it using the path variable annotation as i have shown you in the earlier uh, in the earlier videos okay integer id okay and inside this what we will be doing we will be returning return i am in delete method now last one was the patch mapping but patch mapping is similar to this put one only just that in this request body student we will only be getting some of the fields not all the fields as in put mapping we will be getting id also we'll be getting name also we'll be getting father's name also but in patch mapping inside the student object that will be receiving from the request we will only be getting father name only okay so therefore at that place we will only be using the patch mapping to update update it in the database so now let's just run it okay oh sorry let me just first remove that father name here because it can cause issues 
now let me just rerun this application <clears throat> and if we now go and hit the several endpoints okay let me just go and hit slash get okay slash get when you will hit you will be getting i am in get method slash post when you will be hitting slash post is the endpoint name uh, you will be using post here and inside uh, with post what we send we send the data to the server so inside body we will be sending the data of the student so i am already sending this data id is equal to one and name is equal to code bashers so what request body will do it will convert this json to that student object okay now let me just hit it so you can see i am in post method so this uh, this data we have already got inside this student object okay and then we can do whatever we can do about this particular student object we can save in a database we can do further processing similar is with the put mapping similar will be the case with put mapping what we'll do we will use put method here slash put is the endpoint that we are hitting okay and again in body also we will uh, send the updated one so let's just say i want to change my name to uh, id remain same let's just say code bashers 2 so let's just send this body what it will do again it will send the request i am in the put method we will get this student uh, object here and we can update in the existing database using the id thing okay next is a delete mapping inside delete mapping what we'll do first of all again we will choose method as delete and here also we will choose delete but here we will send the id let's just say delete id2 okay so we will say i am in delete method so this is how all the mappings are working patch mapping also let me just told you tell you if there is a uh, father's name field also just for reference i'm telling okay and if we give like xyz so earlier anything was their father's name and now we are only sending in the patch mapping we will only be sending this data only that we need to update okay so this is how all these things will work in the patch mapping so i hope all the mappings are clear to you what does get do what does delete do what does all these things do it's very simple and how is the like uh what we can say how is a template of writing uh, any mapping this is a template that is slash endpoint we will be giving the method type we will be giving that is a post get or anything and if it is a post then there must be some data that will be coming from the postman from the client that we need to save so this is how that data will be collected it will depend whether it's a student object or any other object just that request body converts that json data into the java object so this is how all the mappings are there and i hope the difference between put and patch is also clear to you so if you like this series so kindly hit the subscribe button because more such videos will be posted in future and thank you for watching this video and do share this video among your friends